So guys, now that I've kind of amassed a few wallets, I decided, or I'm going to talk about just the different selection of wallets that I'm using, and just kind of how I've progressed through the different wallets and what I've found to work pretty well. I hope this helps you guys decide kind of what wallets would work for you and what kind of wallets you want to run. So to start off, uh, for many, many, many years, around five years, I actually just ran this very basic trifold wallet. It's actually, as far as durability, this is just a normal Carhartt wallet. As far as durability goes, sorry, there's some wood chips on it, but uh, it's been extremely well. I think this is the only corner that's really worn. Uh, it is, seen, like I said, lots of use, tons and tons of use, um, but overall it's held up very well. None of the corners are really worn out. Uh, and overall it works quite well, holds lots of cards, uh, but I really dislike trifold wallets, uh, and this is one thing, uh, when I go up to pay for things, I really dislike having to do multiple steps, and, uh, and just these trifold wallets always seem to be very large and clunky when you wanted to draw out cash, or whenever you want to draw out cards, there are just three pieces here, you have to get them all out of the way, to find what you wanted, and so overall, I really dislike trifold wallets. Uh, now I understand for some people they work very well, but for me, I really dislike large and clunky. Uh, I want it things as basic as they can be and as easy and slim. Yeah. So from that point onward, be. I started running the Columbia, and I'm not really exactly sure the name of this or even if they still really make this anymore. But I really liked it because it was genuine leather. It has four card slots, or has four these. card slots, one here, one here, one here, and then one here. This is not generally going to be as much of a card slot um, because it's generally going to have your IDs in it. Um, but four card slots and a pretty nice area for money if you do decide to run money. And I will say the only real problem I ran into with this wallet is when you have quite a few cards in all three of, or all four of these different places of course there's only so much room this uh, wallet can hold so when you have you know a handful of cards in there especially plastic cards that do not bend as well um, trying to bend this out to put money in there uh, could actually be a little bit so tricky. Overall, I really liked this, and this was actually kicked to get me to the super slim wallets, as you can see, you know, this, but it up to the side, is not only smaller in all dimensions, but also a lot thinner, uh, especially when packed down, uh, it'll be a little bit harder to notice when they're both uh, empty, but when packed down, packed or when packed up, up. the trifold wallet is a lot thicker, and that's the primary reason that you know, if you have cards in here, and you have cards in here, and you have cash in here, all of that, when you start to fold it, all of that adds up, and so you're really carrying three times the thickness, as opposed to something like this. Now, I do know that this can carry a lot more than either of these, but then again, in this day and age, I think we're moving over to a more minimalistic setup, where things like cards and IDs, uh, even phones now can do most of the payment, so having cash is no longer as large of a deal, uh, especially like I said, if you're more tech savvy. Um, having cash on you is not necessarily a necessity. So now on anymore. to the most recent carry, and one of the things that is really one of my favorites, and that is the the recycled, recycled firefighter fire. slim wallet. And I though I recently got this, I really always wanted one for a very long time. And I knew I would love it, and obviously I really do love this setup. This is by far the most minimalistic of these three setups. Um, another setup, but this is the most minimalistic and probably one of my favorites. You can see even this slim wallet, um, this is still smaller in most dimensions. I think actually in all dimensions. It's a little bit hard to see. It isn't too much thinner, but it is smaller on the top. And overall, this once again can be a little bit of a hard comparison because this is completely loaded so, out. And once again, this is loaded out, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But this is when it's unloaded, thinner, and in most dimensions, just overall smaller. 
and it does have a nice piece of elastic here if you wanted to carry cash. Once again, I'm starting to migrate out of carrying cash anymore, but it is nice to have this option of being able to carry cash in here. And by far, I've really been enjoying these minimalistic setups uh, for wallets. Another one I have been running is yet another recycled firefighter, and this is a bifold. I'm not exactly sure. I need to do a review on this. I'm not exactly sure how well I love this, just for the fact that if you look, it is around the same size as the trifold actually a little bit bigger but what i do like about it is once again i dislike complexity the fold is still very simple and i i'm still liking this Bi simplicity fold. but with the capacity and so that is what i may eventually move toward is a bifold if i start to have a necessity for carrying more because at this point my slim wall is pretty much maxed out I don't know if I can get anything in there anymore. Uh, it is very full, but with this, this allows me room for expansion, but yet without having to complicate it and still remaining pretty so thin. I may be moving over to bifolds in the future, especially this one. I really liked it and its durability. Uh, I've been doing some side-by-side -side comparison between these two, carrying them at the same time to see, you know, which one fits me the best. So it'll be interesting to see where I go in the future. I may change in the future, but so far I'm still really on this kick for really slim, really tiny wallets, and I really like this uh, system. But I can see where a bifold would play into my Anyways, future guys, care. Hopefully you enjoyed that nice little discussion about wallets. I know it's a little bit off from bushcrafting, but when we're not bushcrafting, we are living life, and so did want to throw some everyday carry stuff in the mix from the channel and thought since I've been kind of on this journey through wallets uh, to kind of share my experiences and what I've thought of different wallets um, I noticed not too many people seem to be on this real slim wallet kick like I am but I'm really enjoying this system mixed with things like Android Pay on your phone I think if you mix it with something like Apple or Android Pay, these slim wallets can be a really handy and efficient way to carry things that you need, such as licenses, but without having to carry the bulk of these guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed that short video. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts uh, on what you guys think of wallets and what you guys run. Uh, I know definitely Android Pay and Apple Pay may be more futuristic for some of you guys, but let me know what your thoughts are, and I'm out.